Yeah, so look at uh, thanks a million, George, and good morning to everyone. Um, we'll come back to the news that are there in a second, but I suppose um, you know from 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 the outset, George has been you know pretty much all over the country. It's been a very difficult week, grazing wise. You know, there's been a lot of rain down, a lot of heavy falls of rain. Um, you know, dry farms, dry farms are struggling, and and uh, and and you know, heavy heavy farms have had to have had to house in in, in some parts of the country. Um, so you know, getting grass even in for, even for that one bite during the day. The three or four hours is is quite difficult at the minute and particularly on some farms there's a lot of maybe heavy covers left so it's you know it's not a, it's not simple but we'll come over to the news that are there in a second george i just wanted to share this slide first for a minute in terms of you know leading through over the next couple of weeks what success looks like and i suppose you know that if we can get some bit of grass into a bit of grass into the cows every day um, and that we're aiming to have when you're starting the second rotation there in, you know, be it the 5th of April or the 10th or 15th of April, whenever it may be, that you have somewhere in around 600 um, of a kilo, a kilos of dry matter per hectare of an average farm cover on the farm. And I suppose just the other key point from that is to get back into that weekly measuring from now on. OK, so that is really what 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 success, you know, we see is that it's going to be over 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 the next few weeks. OK, very good. If we come back to this week's newsletter, um, you know, average farm cover, George, is largely staying, you know, fairly consistent. And that mo probably is that, you know, a lot of people are maybe grazing by day at the minute. Um, mm -hmm. Farm covers are probably dictating that along along with the along with the weather, you know, uh, that, that that's happening at the minute. If we look at the predicted rainfall and soil temperatures and the and the, gro the growth maps for the week, um, rainfall amounts are, you know, are apart from probably, you know, the western seaboard and and you know the the southwest they're fairly reasonable okay um growths are you know should be should should improve and soil temperatures are kind of there largely seven or eight degrees okay so things should be slightly on the mend um over the next over the next over the next week a couple of key points just to just to, to, to finish off on um the weekly farm walk very very important from now on to manage that transition there's an awful lot of there's a big demand on farms at the minute there's a lot of grazing power you know a lot of farms would you know 80 90 percent plus calved okay get back to the weekly grass walks what second point what percentage of the farm is left to graze okay um you know as we said some grazing allocations must be controlled because there is a, a, a tight grass supply on farms okay say for instance if your target's around 70 70 percent graze so for a um say for a 40 hectare farm that would be 12 hectares remaining okay and that then links into our next point is you know deciding when we need to have that graze by dick you know is what's coming back on the first three paddocks so the first three paddocks you know when we want to start our second rotation if we're planning on it on the maybe sixth or seventh of, of april you know we need to have 750 800 on those paddocks today at least so you know the key thing is is to get out and get walk on the farm assess those if you don't have them back on your first couple of paddocks george you're just going to have to 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 push out the start of that uh, of that of that second rotation and the last point george just before i finish you know Hopefully, you know, this week hasn't been the ideal conditions for, for spreading any NPK, but it's important that if weather conditions settle next week to get back out and get back on target.